morning, hope you're doing okay. So from today going forward until I move, it will be a brief uh, bulletin each day. Uh, normally we have like quite an extensive daily bulletin that covers indices, forex and government bonds. But I don't really have much time currently, so we're going to keep the daily bulletin brief. Uh, today, tomorrow and Thursday, and then Friday off completely, and then next week I'm actually officially off. But what I'll try and do is get these videos across to you, <laughs> pending I've got internet in my new place, which I should have. <laughs> right, so just so you know, we're going to have just a sort of truncated, brief daily bulletin for the next three days. And hopefully that's okay and you don't mind. Uh, so what's happened to gold is that they've gone long, so we created a zone, and then they sold it here. So we came up briefly, they sold it here. Oh, that's that move there. Right, okay, so they got punished in that move, and then they went long here. So we can create a box here, 2010 to 2000, well, 1998. So we can definitely create a box there, and that's creating a supply because uh, they've gone long, and it, it probably should do the opposite of what the herd do because it has to be something to counter that trade. Right, so that's going to be a resistance. So you could, if you wanted to, Look for a long, but only above 2000 and say 11. And then you could have a stop there. It's fairly wide stop, but really this should hold as resistance. But saying that, having said that, is that we have just made a buy. It's not a risky buy because we're below 50%. So this is just confirming the fact that we're a buy. So um, look for a long above 2011. And you could have a stop there. It is slightly wide, but I think it might be okay. I don't forget we'll have a little bit of a challenge overhead in those boxes too. So we'll look at the Euro USD, which is a little bit different. We don't normally look at it, uh, but they have gone quite long, right? And I was wondering whether or not this is less shorts because this is such an aggressive move. I wonder whether or not that's just them getting stopped out. And so this could look like they're going long, but really that could really be you know a big stop bump. And then that, that that's the consequence of um, what happens when you when the market is less short, is that it tells us that the uh, bears who were short <laughs> have now had to exit the casino, and they got absolutely destroyed on that move. One oh eight three four to one ten eighty, huge move, and that would have blown quite a lot of the people up and so we see that consequence on that move so uh you know that would have been the zone there that's that is the zone of resistance so it just goes to show how you can use it so it's pretty cool and uh we can put that overhead like that and then we can definitely revisit the euro usd next week or the week after so i'm away next week but i'll try and get the daily bulletins across s p um, we're just grinding higher, aren't we? I mean, we are by the big picture. They've gone long, so it's made a sell. Um, so we have to try and debate how legit this candle is, because they really shouldn't be getting paid. If they, you know, if they've gone long, the last three hours they've got paid a little bit. So, uh, but we have to remember the big picture. We are below fifty percent, and there's there's still a lot of bears left in this market. So probably a gradual chop higher. Uh, but ideally we don't want them to be going long okay if they continue to go long then we'll have to definitely have some resistance here some technical resistance us 30 and um yeah probably the same isn't it so well we made the buy but we didn't get the sell so that's fine so we are probably going to come come up higher above uh three four one one three it's looking okay and that could be your stop loss if you want to take it but it is very wide, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you're really careful, that can do a lot of damage. So you want to be really careful. That's a hundred points. Oh, that's quite wide. So you want to be careful, and it does move a hell of a lot. So you, um, maximum caution, I think. And if you were to trade it, just use like a little micro lot, like the smallest size possible. If you were to do like a normal size, it could do a lot of destruction. Even though you know we're trending higher, it has to do that retracement, and that's how you get caught out. And uh, so yeah, that's that. So we've got two supports and a resistance above. We could probably argue we can create a box actually, and then um, we'll look at the axiom. We'll wrap up.
and uh, I'm a little bit behind schedule on my house move, which is a bit stressful, but uh, it is what it is. I'll have to just crack on today. I've got loads of items that need to be sold and things. So this is a decent support. So we might like bounce between the support and the resistance here, but this is a decent uh, support because they've sold it. So what happens? Price goes up to punish them, and don't forget someone has to take the other side of the trade. If the X, if the retail guys sell, someone has to buy it. All right, so then that's that move. And we're probably going to probably continue higher, I think. Um, and note that S&P made a, a sell, a risky sell, but this hasn't had the crossover yet. So keep an eye on that. And lastly, DAX. And then um, wrap up. So uh, this was resistance. You can see, you know, we chopped and then we broke above. And we, we are creating the sell like the S&P, but it's a risky sell because we're well below 50%. Uh, but we are a little bit skewed, so uh, don't forget we've got nice supports. We are going to create a resistance above on this candle, I think. If they continue to go long, this will be a resistance 15,890-ish, 15,882 around the area. So it'll be a thin resistance here for, for the fact that they've gone long. But they might sell it. They're very quick to sell it, and they have been historically. Very bearish on the DAX and uh, scroll out. You can see where they started to sell it. Uh, this is how bullish that is. There. <laughs> All right. So that's where the sentiment flips back here. And it was this aggressive move here. It was probably a lot to do with um, this. That was quite scary. This is probably what really got them. Very bearish uh, move there, and they just decided to carry on to think that it was going to carry on falling, and so they sold it at that point. You see what happened, and like I say, someone has to counter that trade. So if the herd in their millions go one particular way, what's going to happen? All right. So trade safely, and we'll be back tomorrow morning in the same uh, way that we did today. It'll be a risk calculation and a daily video and then that, that'll be it and don't forget to check your economic calendar and to check your bubbles don't wait for me to say buy or sell you can just look at the bubbles on the spreadsheet and then you know they give you loads of trade ideas and as long as you know where your exit is it should be fine and try and get a good r as well which is your risk multiple so if you're prepared to risk say 30 pips try and at least try and get 30 pips for your tp at least because that would just be a one r and that'll just mean that you break even long term. What you're trying to do is trying to get a 2R or a 3R. So you're, what you're prepared to risk is greater, is less than what you're going to get as a reward. So um, if you get a 1 to 1R, then you'll just, you'll make money, but then you'll probably just break even over the long term. If you try and get a decent risk to reward, then you'll, you'll make money long term. And we just have to bear in mind we've got a lot of chop. And the EuroCAD was slightly annoying. We chopped for seven hours yesterday and I was watching it when I shouldn't have been because I was moving, I'm still moving home. So um, just got to be careful. And uh, I think what we'll do with our trades of the day, we'll just have slightly wider stops, I think. And then uh, we should be okay because we got stopped up by five pips, which is really annoying. I need to sort this out now. So I'll speak to you guys uh, tomorrow and remember to trade safely. And we should be fine. I'll fix this now. I don't know what's going on. All right, speak to you later.